reviews of the owners of this SUV are full of enthusiastic epithets. That's why for many who aren't intimidated by the prospect of owning a used car, RAV4 under the age of 7 looks like a very interesting acquisition. Unlike its predecessor, the Toyota RAV4 in the XA30 body, 2005 to 2012 onwards, was positioned by Toyota not as a mini SUV, but as a compact SUV and was delivered to our country not only officially, but also through the Great Channel Import, through which cars were imported from the USA, Canada, and the UAE. Officially, versions with only two engine options were sold in Russia, 2.0, and 2.4-liter valvomatic four-cylinder engines with the dual VVTi variable valve timing system. The range of transmissions includes five- and six-speed mechanics, multi-drive SCVT, 2010 to 2012, and four-speed automatic, 2005 to 2009. Optionally, for models with a 2.0-liter engine, a mono drive was available in combination with a six-speed manual gearbox. In the third generation, the crossover lost its permanent all-wheel drive, which somewhat reduced its quotes among model fans. Nevertheless, in terms of electronic assistance, the RAV4 of those years is doing very well even by modern standards. The Integrated Active Control System IADS, coordinates the distribution of torque between the axles, and the proprietary Toyota VSC system provides directional stability. The third-generation RAV4 was equipped with electric power steering, ABS and brake assist, as well as TRC traction control. In a number of markets, the RAV4 was also equipped with diesel engines, a 2.0-liter D, or D, cars made in 2005 to 2006, which developed 114 horsepower and 250 newton meters in the range of 1800 to 1300 RPM and a 2.2-liter engine, 2007 to 2008 onwards, with a capacity of 134 horsepower and 310 newton meters in the range of 2000 to 2800 RPM. In the USA, versions with the 2AR FE engine were also available, 2009 to 2012 onwards. With a volume of 2.5 liters, this unit produced 181 horsepower and 233 newton meters at 4000 RPM. In the period from 2005 to 2012, the RAV4 was also sold in the North American market with a truly sporty 3.5-liter 2GR FEV6 engine. It was this unit that developed 270 horsepower and 333 newton meters at 4,700 RPM can be found under the hood of a Lotus Evora or a Toyota Corolla E140-E150, modified for Super GT racing. But to find such a car on the secondary market is almost unrealistic. Officially, the car was delivered to Russia in two versions, with a standard and a wheelbase extended by 100 mm. After the first restyling in 2009, the cars were produced both on a standard and on a long base. In 2010, the car went through another restyling. The appearance of the crossover has been significantly changed, the design of the front of the car has been completely redesigned to give more dynamics in the image. At the same time, LWB version in our country was sold with the appearance of the 2009 model until the end of the life of this body. In total, there were five configuration options in Russia, Standard, Comfort, Elegance, Prestige, and Prestige Plus. Starting with the Comfort package, the car was equipped with a multifunctional sports leather steering wheel, separate climate control with a cooled glove compartment, light and rain sensors, and a wireless mobile phone connection system via Bluetooth. In the Prestige Plus configuration, the car is equipped with a russified navigation system. The long wheelbase version of the car was sold only in the Comfort Plus and Prestige Plus trim levels. All RAV4 trims with the continuously variable transmission multi-drive S are equipped with shift paddles for manual mode of the CVT versions with the manual gearbox were offered only in the Standard and Comfort packages. In the secondary market, the price of RAV4 XA 32,007 onwards starts from 550,000 rubles, but the price tag for copies in good condition is 100 to 120,000 higher. For a car in 2009, they are already asking for more than 850,000 rubles. Engine. Like many brands with a long history, Toyota has managed to acquire traditions. One of them is that in order to extend the life of a model on the market, it is subjected to multiple upgrades, not only externally noticeable, but also internal, at the level of units. The third-generation RAV4 was no exception, 
the number of modifications within this generation alone is expressed in double digits and requires separate consideration, which is extremely useful for a potential buyer. At the beginning of its life on the assembly line in December 2005, the RAV4 received a set of power units from the previous body, produced since 2000, 1 AZ-FE 2.0L and 2 AZ-FE 2.4L. Already at that time they did not shine with outstanding characteristics, but still had the main feature, reliability. They were slightly modernized, raising the power to 152 horsepower and 170 horsepower respectively. Here and after, the power will be given according to the European measurement method. So, these same 152 horsepower, a big stone in the garden of the company's marketers. They overlooked the nuances of Russian taxation and, compared to 150 horsepower on the previous generation, a measly increase of two horses almost doubled the tax. The Japanese repeated their mistake four years later, but then they still found the strength to correct it. The main result of engine modernization is the simplification of the emission control system while maintaining the requirements of Euro or standards and their American counterparts. Previously, a system was used that was too complicated for a four-cylinder inline ice with two sections of catalysts, each for its own pair of cylinders, 1.4 plus 2.3, with four oxygen sensors installed, two of which are expensive broadband, otherwise, meet the required environmental standards was no longer possible. By the third generation RAV4, Toyota switched to the usual scheme, one common catalyst for all cylinders and two oxygen sensors. In fairness, it must be said that the resource of all these parts, with adequate operation, is at least 250,000 kilometers, but the next owner of a used car will still have to deal with their replacement. The cost of oxygen sensors is from 1.9 to 6,000 rubles. For trouble-free and high-quality products of famous brands, Bosch, Delphi, NGK, Denso. Of the defects of the initial period of operation, a leak from the seal of the water pump was massively recorded at runs of 40 to 60,000 kilometers, but almost all cars of that period were repaired under warranty, and current buyers have nothing to worry about if the pump did not leak then. It steadily departs its typical resource for Toyota is 250 to 300,000 kilometers. And there were no more specific problems with this generation of power units. With regular oil changes, the VVTI timing chain and variable valve timing system should not cause problems. But you should be ready to replace the pump. The cost of this node is from 1.2 thousand rubles. For dolls, jackaparts, Magneti Marelli products up to 3,000 for an analog from SKF or Valio. If it is necessary to replace the radiator, then this is also not the most expensive part, from 2000 for a little-known Asian brand to 5 to 5.8 thousand rubles. For a product from Nissan's, AVA, or Sakura, it was possible to kill the motor ahead of schedule only because of the complete carelessness of the owners. The 1AZ FE engine is designed for operation on gasoline with an octane rating of 95, according to the European RON method, but it also allows the 92nd with some loss of power and the 2AZ FE was originally designed for the 92nd. Such reliability and unpretentiousness can play a trick on the unlucky buyer of a used copy, especially from the North American market or, yes, don't be surprised. From Japan, the reason for this is simple, there the RAV4 is considered a car of the budget segment, so the attitude towards it in most cases is Spartan. The oil in the engine and units does not change at all, only the staff at the gas station pours cheap mineral water into the engine when refueling. Toyota maintains its warranty 100,000 kilometers anyway, and then they simply sell it for trade-in and leave on a new one. Then they buy it cheaply at the auction, on the ferry, and now a shining beauty on the Liebertsy market, and that the engine barely holds pressure, none of the resellers care, and there is no smoke yet, the catalyst is still quite fresh. Therefore, we recommend that you first of all pay attention to cars originally made for Russia and sold here through a network of official dealers, for which you can check the service history at least during the warranty period, and this is the replacement of only synthetic oil in the engine strictly after 10,000 kilometers. Such machines are on average more expensive, but in the future the cost of their operation will be lower. Think for yourself, good cars are also expensive overseas, it is simply unprofitable to import them here. Speaking about cars from the American market, it is worth making a reservation that everything there also depends very much on the owners. American sites like Edmunds.com contain a lot of rave reviews from RAV4 owners of all generations, 
reporting trouble-free operation of the crossover with a range of 150 to 200,000 miles. Transmissions. Five-speed manual gearboxes, aggregated with a 1AZ FE engine, are absolutely reliable and trouble-free. The mileage of clutch parts, if you do not use the car as a tractor for giving on wheels, which is not uncommon for Europe and the USA, is 150 to 200,000 kilometers, quite typical for Toyota figures. The situation is similar with the four-speed automatic U140, one of the most popular and used on many models, including the Lexus RX with six-cylinder engines. It will also not cause any trouble with adequate operation and periodic oil changes, just in this generation. Fully synthetic WS grade oil, which formally does not require replacement, began to be used in automatic transmissions, but transmission experts still recommend changing it at least every 100,000 kilometers. A resource of 400 to 500,000 kilometers is not at all uncommon for him. Of the rare, but harmless defects, increased noise from the planetary gear at low speed. On the machines of the first years of production, there was a defect in the form of a leak in the left drive oil seal, but in 2007 a modernized part was released, and the problem disappeared. But with the mighty 3.5 liter 2GR FEV6 engine, with which the RAV4 was sold in the USA, Canada, and Japan, this hassle-free unit can save up earlier, its planetary gearbox is corny weak for such a powerful engine. In this case, the automatic transmission may require repair even at the turn of 100 to 150,000 kilometers, depending on the driving style, but due to the high prevalence, the repair price will not be higher than the market average. The front transfer case is a primitive angular gearbox and is already reliable by definition, a routine oil change every 40,000 kilometers, as practice has shown is completely superfluous, it is quite possible to double this interval. But this attitude is completely inapplicable to the rear differential. It is here of a rather complex design in one block with a wet electrocoupling for connecting the rear drive. The subtlety lies in the small amount of oil poured into the crankcase of this unit, only 0.55 liters. By the time of the scheduled replacement, every 40,000 kilometers, it practically loses its protective properties, an overrun here is highly undesirable. Although this unit is being repaired with the replacement of parts, it makes no sense to bring it to this point. In any case, the sorted unit cannot be of the same quality as on the Japanese conveyor. When operating in regions where the temperature drops below minus 30 zero in winter, it is advisable to change the oil of standard viscosity 80W90, which is filled in at the factory, to 75W90, strictly according to APIGL 5 otherwise it is possible to squeeze out too thick oil through the oil seals. There are no complaints about the driveline, often its resource exceeds the life of the machine itself, earlier it can only give up due to mechanical damage. According to the assembly technology, universal joints do not change, so it is often easier and more profitable to find a whole use part. Electrician. On the electrical side, almost everything is in the same Toyota traditions, simple and reliable. The only defect noted was the burning of the contacts in the brake light switch on the brake pedal. However, the computer that controls the ABS and ESP system will give an error message much earlier than the complete failure of the part, and the owner will have time to calmly solve the problem, clean the contacts or install a new unit. If a keyless access system with a radio tag key is used, then it is recommended to replace the power supply element CR1632, at least once every 1.5 years but even with a completely dead battery, a fallback start is provided. If the key fob is lost, you can buy it yourself, but it is possible to make friends with the system only with a proprietary scanner with legal access to the Toyota database. Hacker options usually end with a complete loss of data or promiscuity. The system will randomly consider any label as its own. Suspension and steering. There are practically no complaints about the details of the front suspension made according to the classic McPherson scheme, long worked out by the Japanese. Native shock absorbers, struts and stabilizer bushings can easily overcome the milestone of 100 to 150,000 kilometers, although there have been cases of oil squeezing out in the harsh Siberian winter with frosts below minus 40 zero. And although such operating conditions cannot be called typical, rather, it is a test for survival. Toyota is one of the leaders here too. The cost of shock absorbers, front, KYB, 3 to 4.5 thousand rubles. Native Toyota, 5,000, rear, 1.9 to 2.5 thousand rubles. Boge, Sachs. Silent blocks, from 600 rubles. 
or Delphi products. A slightly weaker link is the steering rack. On the machines of the first years of production, a constructive miscalculation was made when choosing a material for the manufacture of the inner sleeve, due to which it floated during sharp turns on a completely inverted steering wheel and an increased gap was formed, causing knocks when driving on uneven surfaces. With such a defect, you can safely ride for an arbitrarily long time, but if you wish, you can replace the rail with a modernized one. It is also suitable for early models, or replace only a worn bushing in specialized companies. Toyota itself does not offer handicraft repairs. The cost of the steering rack varies greatly. For products of the MSG brand, Asian, with an Italian registration, they ask for a modest 8.5 thousand rubles, while the product in the original packaging will pull on all 19,000. The rear suspension is also worthy of a separate word. In pursuit of a large luggage compartment and good handling, the designers made the suspension itself quite short stroke, which reduced its comfort on bad roads. And with the sharp operation, to the stop, on a deep pothole or hole, a tangible blow is transmitted to the body. This unpleasant property can be cured in two ways. The first is the replacement of shock absorbers with more energy-intensive ones, such as Kony models for bad roads. For a car with high mileage and already worn standard shock absorbers, this option is preferable. As an alternative, which Toyota uses during the warranty period at the request of the owner, according to a special service bulletin, the replacement of the rear trailing arms with levers with solid S B. Such a replacement eliminates the main defect, but two unpleasant consequences remain, the need to adjust the wheel angles, toe slash camber, after replacement and a general increase in suspension stiffness when driving. Another visible specific feature is the threaded parts of the stabilizer strut that protrude far below the lower arm. This is a feature of the assembly technology, the protruding parts can be safely cut off with confidence that these racks will no longer be used. In addition to the fact that, being new, the car was very popular with car thieves, as a result of which the owners suffered from the high cost of comprehensive insurance, the design of the third generation RAV4 was another bait for car thieves. This is not a very good solution with the location of the spare wheel on the tailgate. It is successful only in two ways. It does not take up space in the luggage compartment and is easily removed. The overall silhouette of the car is more harmonious with it. But the reverse side is a large load on the hinges, which after three to four years have a backlash. To replace the top one, it is also necessary to dismantle the side trim of the luggage compartment and the lantern poor visibility through the rear window and easy accessibility for villains, especially the cap itself. For the US and European markets, a modification was also produced without a spare wheel on the back door, but in this case it was not available at all, only a can of tire sealant was included in the kit, but this option is unacceptable in Russian road conditions.